There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. There's only one place to savour the excitement and it's right here on EA TV. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Coventry City up against West Bromwich Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Sakamoto. Van Eweig. Well, nothing productive, really. Daryl DK likes to run with the ball at his feet. Phillips. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, for the visitors, an awful lot they need to do better in terms of scoring goals. Look at that record, Stuart. Not a pretty sight. Well, quite simply, away from home, they just don't get enough players into forward areas. They need to get the midfield players to make still possibilities. And the attack fizzling out. Phillips. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through. So a throw-in coming up. And there's been a change to the scoreline in one of the other games. Alex has details. It's a goal for Southampton. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. It's now 1-0 with 13 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Ajayi. On to Taylor. It's with Yokushru. Phillips. Just the challenge that was required. Morley. Lloyd Kelly. Ayase Ueda. Now relying very much on the passing game in a bid to take the lead. Can he finish? Vital intervention. Playing it in. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. DK. Getting forward. Callum O'Hare. Chance to cross. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Phillips. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, that's how to beat your opponent, but no damage done. That's the main thing. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say.
Phillips. It's with Yokushru. DK. Oh, that's an expert piece of defending. Ayase Ueda. Sakamoto. Marvellous anticipation. Phillips. Phillips has it. Perfect tackle. Sakamoto. And on the ball, Kearney. That is how to keep it out of the net. He has time to play it over. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And a goal to update you on in the Middlesbrough game. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. They've scored the opener here with 36 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Delivering it. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. Okai Yokushru takes aim and danger still well they stopped them in their tracks well you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment well now they've got to concentrate on keeping the door locked Pipa Mowat and we will have just one additional minute. Dian Ghana. We're making considerable progress with the ball. So there goes the half-time whistle, and it is a story of parity. Stuart, what have you made of the visitors' display? Well, the hardest thing as a coach is to get both sides of the game right. Today's a great example. They've looked solid defensively, but once again, they haven't posed enough of a threat going forward. It'll be interesting to see how they approach the second half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Fine block. West Brom struggling to keep the ball. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Coventry City taking on Stoke City. Pipa. Diangana. Now, who can he pick out? Oh, good work by the keeper. And time for the change now. Who can he pick out? 
Just a matter of thumping it away. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Opportunity. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. He has time to play it over. Not a promising-looking attack, but... Come. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Substitution for Coventry City. Coming off the pitch. take another look and it's a technique that we don't see enough of using the outside of the boot and on this occasion to great effect what a goal that is so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here Nice looking pass. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's West Bromwich Albion facing Queen's Park Rangers. Options in the centre. It's a fierce effort. Able to get a body in the way. Couldn't keep the ball. Archer. And threading it through. And still danger here. Marvellous anticipation. And the substitution will occur now. Substitution for Coventry City. Coming off the pitch, number four, Callum Chambers. To be replaced by number 26, Liam Cooper. Let's see about the delivery. And he clears the danger. And a body in the way. Well, wow, there's a really stylish piece of running. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Chance here. Huge block. Now the counter-attack looks on. And a goal to update you on in the Middlesbrough game. Here's Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Middlesbrough. They've pulled ahead by two with 73 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. In search of space. Can he get one back? He can! He 
given his team a real opportunity and momentum is with them. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, he's so frustrated. He knows this will be tense now. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Kelly. Archer. Fine sequence of passes. Well, he's given us away. Ajay. That's a lovely ball. Ten minutes to go. And he's made headway. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So back underway. 3-1 the score. Ajay. Adam Reach. And Madger on the ball. And a change to the scoreline in the Huddersfield match. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yep, it's a second goal for Leicester City. It's all level again at 2-2 with 85 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Da Silva. Archer. What to like about that pass. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Might work out. And a struggle to get it away properly. And I think the threat has been averted. I'm really closing him down here. Mowit. Grady Diangana. Now, oh, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Ayase Ueda. Must be. There it is. Victory more. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Adam Reach. Taylor with it. Well, that's and the referee blows the whistle, bringing to an end a disappointing day for West Bromwich Albion. Three points squandered. Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks.